Welcome to this RNAV approach tutorial for the Bredox 737 in MSFS. This tutorial is from a runway start with engines on and we've planned our flight in the world map. It's a straight out departure from runway 22 at Stansted, then high altitude airways for the RNAV 08 at Jersey. A basic knowledge of how to operate the FMC and MCP is required for this tutorial, but most things will be explained along the way. So the only input we've made on our perf page is to set a cruising altitude of 26,000 feet and inserted a nominal value for reserves. We've selected full climb thrust on the takeoff page and our V speeds are already calculated but largely wrong. Checking our plan on the legs page we can see we have a flight plan from runway to runway exactly as we planned in the world map. Autopilot setup is very simple. We activate LNAV, VNAV, and set our cruising altitude of 26,000 in the MCP. Also make sure that auto throttle is armed. Takeoff is as usual, throttles up to full power. Rotate just after our V2 speed because the calculations in the Bredock are not accurate. Landing gear up upon positive rate. Remember to follow the FD as you depart. Roll off the flaps to zero as speed increases and activate autopilot around 400 feet. Climb is automated and the aircraft levels off at 26,000 feet where you'll see the VNAV path enunciator appear on the PFD. We'll check the legs page to find our final descent altitude, 2,000 feet, and our top of descent, which will be the GOC2 waypoint. Because it's the last waypoint, our cruising altitude and a fair distance away from our final approach fix. So we insert 2,000 feet into the MCP. We do fill in our approach ref but you'll see later on the aircraft ignores it anyway. As we pass through the GOC2 waypoint, which is our top of descent, we tap the selected altitude button on the MCP and the aircraft begins its descent to 2000 feet. At the diesel waypoint, the airplane does slow down and we add approach flaps as well as drop the landing gear. However, the airplane wanted to slow to 100 knots instead of 120, so I had to manually set the speed, as well as force it into altitude hold mode as it was bucking up and down in VNAV. If you fly this route, or any approach in the Bredock, you can expect I have to do the same thing. So as we turn towards our final approach fix, we'll activate approach mode. On the PFD, the enunciator's final approach course and glide path appear, as you'd expect for an RNAV approach. As we reach our final approach fix, the glide path comes alive and the airplane starts to descend on that three degree glide path. It also continues to hold the runway centerline. So essentially, RNAV approaches work in the Bredox 737. At around 300 feet, we disengage the auto throttle and idle those throttles and begin to flare for touchdown. As soon as we touch down, reverse is open, throttles to idle at 80 knots as auto brake slows us down. We then manually brake to disengage it. We depart the runway and that concludes our successful RNAV approach in the Bredox 737. Thank you for watching, I hope you found this useful. If you did, please drop a like and feel free to subscribe as I make this kind of content fairly regularly. Take care and I'll see you next time.